and welcome to the video of SSL Handshake Process. In this video we will learn complete flow of SSL Handshake with the help of SSL Demo Packet. At the end we will learn how to capture live SSL traffic using Wireshark. responsible for initiating an SSL handshake by sending the client hello message. If this isn't the first message that is sent, the server responds with an error and shuts down the socket. The client advertises to the server which cipher specs it supports. It's not required to support all of them. The client sends the server the client's SSL version number, cipher settings, session and specific data, and other information that the server needs to communicate with the client using SSL. The client also sends a challenge token, which the server must encrypt using the newly negotiated key before sending back the encrypted, the value. In its hello message, the client verifies that the decrypted token is the same as what was sent. If it's not, the handshake is rejected. The second packet you can see is from the server to client. It contains of the multiple handshake messages like server hello. The certificate and server hello done messages during the server hello handshake process. The server sends the client the server's SSL version number, cipher settings, session and specific data, and other information that the client needs to communicate with the server over SSL. The server also sends its own certificate. And if the client is requesting a server resource that requires client authentication, the server requests the client's certificate. The certificate format is X509, and no other format is defined. Finally, the server hello done will get performed. Clip. The third packet you can see is the client to server. Now the client uses the information sent by the server to authenticate the server. If the server cannot be authenticated, the user is warned of the problem and informed that an encrypted and authenticated connection cannot be established. During this process, the client will generate its master key, also known as the pre-master secret for the session, encrypts it with the server's public key, obtained from the service certificate, and then sends the encrypted pre-master secret to the server. The fourth packet is for SSL Server Verify. During this process, the server receives this encrypted message, decrypts it using the negotiated keys, and verifies the MAC. If decryption and MAC verification succeed, the server finally verifies that the connection ID received matches the one that it sent. Server can also request client to present its certificate optional step. The client also signs another piece of data that is unique to this handshake and known by both the client and server. In this case, the client sends both the signed data and the client's own certificate to the server along with the encrypted pre-master secret. If the server has requested client authentication, the server attempts to authenticate the client. Both the client and the server use the master secret to generate the session keys, which are symmetric keys used to encrypt and decrypt information exchanged during the SSL session. And to verify its integrity, the client sends a message to the server informing it that future messages from the client will be encrypted with the session key at any time. 
due to internal or external stimulus. Either side may renegotiate the connection, in which case the process repeats itself.